Hey YouTube, I'm back with another little video. Um, I had a whole other video topic that I thought I was going to talk about today. The Holy Spirit was like, just wait, not today. And he put a different topic on my mind and on my heart. And I'm just going to talk about it. So, um, in my life personally, because I believe that there's certain levels to vulnerability where it can help you um, in what you're going through to not feel as alone if others are vulnerable as the Holy Spirit leads with certain aspects of their life. I do not agree with like oversharing. There's a time for everything. And sometimes the Lord, like there's times where I've shared stuff online that I'm like, God, do you really want me to share this? He's like, mm-hmm. And it's been challenging, but it's the fruit of it. It's always been beautiful to help other people. But I want to encourage you that don't just get on here with a camera and start sharing your life and the personal things about you unless the Holy Spirit is like, yes, I want you to do this because it's really vulnerable and your heart is precious. And if he's not anointing you, not even just anointing you, but if he's not giving you the grace to do it, that this goes with anything in life, it's better to stay silent. That's my belief, <laughs> especially with sharing personal things. So anyway, for me in my life, because I'm feeling the Lord, I know that the Lord wants me to just share about what I've been going through this past year, literally, of my life. And I've talked about it a bit, um, but I've been feeling the weakness of my flesh, okay? The weakness of humanity in all of the ways. And I've just been like, Jesus, like, why am I so weak? And it's gotten to the point where, like, I'm physically weak, but yet everything shows that I'm healthy, okay? So it's nothing physically wrong, but, and I does, it doesn't feel, like, physically wrong, but I just, I lack the energy, okay? And the strength to do, well, like, I used to be able to do, okay? And so this has been very discouraging, definitely, for me. I've had hope and joy throughout it all because I know that the Lord's doing something and He's showing me more of His heart and just growing me, maturing me. But it has been challenging because I'm actually a very active person. Like, I like to be going, to be doing. I like to go hiking. I like to go for walks. I like to just be doing things. I like to dance. I like to do I really do what human like I love that but the past few years the Holy Spirit has literally been stripping away anything that could distract me from his heart and then he'll bring things you know situations or opportunities and he's like okay you can have this for a little bit then he's like okay hey, I want you to come back alone with me and we're going to debrief that and then I want you to just be alone with me and then okay then you're gonna rest and, you're, and I've, I've gotten pretty good at being able to just if the lord says sit lay down rest i don't even argue i'm just like yep done i need to sit i need to lay down like no protest because if the holy spirit tells me i need to rest there's been times where i didn't rest and then like something happened that night or the next day that i needed the energy for and the holy spirit knew so i'm like if he tells me just get extra rest i will take it i'm <laughs> like praise god but feeling weak is so challenging because you know like I'm 25 I'm a healthy 25 year old woman I want to be out doing I want to be out like oh my goodness I want to go do this I want to do that and the Holy Spirit's like I give you the energy that you need for every day and he's like in this season he's like I don't want you to have a lot of energy to do a bunch of stuff he's like I want you to read my word like I've just been studying the bible he's like I want you to help your family out so I have energy to like you know, do stuff around the house, make dinners, clean, you know, those types of things. But for example, yesterday I had a lot of energy and I like cleaned a lot of the house. It was like a great productive day. And then today I didn't like, I wasn't, I didn't, I felt just kind of tired. And I woke up early too and it was sunny and nice. And I was like, I'm just feeling more chill today, you know? And every day the poor, like the grace for what I need to do and energy wise has been like laid out for me and I can tell when I've reached the max of like nope I don't have any more right now like um I was studying the bible and working on um a few like little things that the lord was having me work on and I started to feel really tired and the lord's like just rest so I went to a time of prayer and I was praying and and then I just put on some worship music and I just laid 
down and just, you know, was still with the Lord and it was beautiful. And then I got up and I had a bit more energy um, to, you know, walk my dog, do all that stuff, you know. And I'm going to cook dinner here soon after I do this video and I know I'm going to have energy to do that. But it's so interesting how each day I've had just the right amount of energy for what I've needed to do. Nothing more, nothing less, just exactly what I need to do. And some days there's not a lot that the Holy Spirit wants me to do, but like just sit and relax with him or read the Bible. Or sometimes he's like, I just want you to, you know, relax, like watch a movie with your family on like the weekend when they were home, you know, like just rest and relax sometimes that's literally like that's what i've given me energy to do today and it's actually in this world in society it's almost harder to rest than it is to do like it just is there everyone's like oh you need to go out and do this you need to go out and do this and then don't even get me started when it comes to financially as a young person and when i talk about money i always like to preface this i'm not asking for money i'm just talking about money because people get like I don't know. I just like to put that disclaimer because there's a lot of followers of Jesus online that are constantly just asking people for money. No, that's not the point of this. I'm just talking about like the realities of life. And when you're a 25 year old single woman who's very independent, who likes to do and is actually a very hard worker. Um, and the Holy Spirit's like, just sit, wait on me. And then you're fi You're like, but God, I need finances. Like, <laughs> I need to be doing something to to have finances like that's what we do we need to make sure that you have a constant paycheck he's like just trust me with that that's challenging that that's just challenging like I the Lord has provided every single time for me that I've needed exactly what I've needed on the day that I've needed it it's been phenomenal to see his provision and he's he owns a cattle on a thousand hills so I'm like so covered and so are you financially if you're trusting in the Lord but it is challenging okay and so the Holy Spirit has just been like leading me through this time of, he's like, I want you to know how weak you are without me. And I want you to know how weak your flesh is. And if you ever decide that you want to lean on your own understanding and on the, on your flesh, it's not a sturdy situation for you. Like it's going to crumble. You know, if you lean on your flesh, you lean on your own understanding, it is going to crumble. And he just spoke that to me, you know, tonight as I was just, my heart was heavy today and I'm like, Jesus, you know, you know, this is hard. Like, I don't like feeling weak. Like, I don't like it. Like, I want to have this youthful, uh, the word that comes to mind is like vigor or, you know, like I want to just not be feeling like this. And the Holy Spirit's like, this is not your forever. He's like, this is not how you're going to be feeling forever. He's like, I just want you to know and really get in your mind how it feels to be weak. Because he's like, that way, my strength will be made perfect in that area of your weakness. And it will be perfected so that when you are so strong in front of other people, when the time is right, he's like, you will always know that you have to lean on me, that you can't lean on yourself. And I want to just encourage you guys with that, that there is a time to be weak and there's a time to be strong. There's a time for everything. Okay. And I know how frustrating it is when you feel weak and you see um you see like you 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 know that you're fine you know that you're good like health wise and and all that stuff but you're just like man I'm tired or it's not even like I've felt it when you're like sick or something's wrong in your physical body that you need medical attention like you almost have that gut feeling when you know like something's off and something's not cool so I have felt that kind of tired before you know but this is like a whole other type of tire that I can't even put my finger on. And I know it's not anything that I can like control or fix or try to make a difference with it. Like people say, oh, eat differently. Add this to your diet. Take this out of your diet. You know, you could do this. You could do that. It's not nothing to do with that. It's literally the Holy Spirit's telling me. He's like, girl, I want you to just know what it's like to be weak. And um, I'm going to make you really strong in time. And... I just want you to remember this. And so he's like, I'll lift it when the time is, is right. I'm like, you won't feel like this anymore. I'm like, that's also challenging because he means it. Cause I've had it before where I'll feel it lift. And then I need to do a bunch for, of stuff for that day. And I feel the heaviness lift and I'm like, okay, good. I can do stuff. And then it's back. And then I feel weak again. And it's not, it's so interesting to me. Um, 
it's so interesting. So anyway, I guess that's, didn't know that I was really going to be talking about, you know, that today, but I just want to encourage you guys that there's, there's an aspect of following Jesus. that's not about like, oh, look at what I can do. It's actually about like, no, I can't do it. Like I need Jesus. Like <laughs> I need help. And actually that's so funny. My, one of my like life verses actually, I want to mark this because the Holy Spirit was like, girl, you should read this passage of scripture later. Right before I watched this video, and I mean, while well, you're watching this video, right before I was recording this video. Anyway, so I don't want to forget to read that later. But where is this? Uh, yeah, I have to remember the number in my mind. Okay, so this is like my, I want to say one of my life verses, if that's, if you know what that means, like something that the Lord has spoken to you, and it's, there's such a meaning behind the scripture in your life. And for me, it's one of them is Isaiah 41 verse 8 to 10. It says, but you Israel, my servant Jacob, whom I have chosen, um, you descendants of Abraham, my friend, I took you from the ends of the earth from its farthest corners. I called you and I said, you are my servant. I've chosen you and have not rejected you. So do not fear for I'm with you. Do not be dismayed for I'm your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Um, and I really love it. it continues on Isaiah 41 verse 13 for I'm the Lord, your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear. I will help you. And I just remembered, I, I got this Bible this year, which I love. I literally, it's, I've read it so much in February that it looks like I've had it for like a couple months. And I love this Bible. If the Holy Spirit was like, girl, I want you to get this Bible back in end of January, early February, best decision. Like I how I have this Bible laid out, my biblical nerding self is like, I love it. Anyway, so I realized I didn't have this verse highlighted today. Um, so I just highlighted it like an hour or so ago. Anywho, and it's so cool to me because what I would always do before I even knew that the scripture verse was even in the Bible or that the Lord really showed me this verse, right? I would, anytime I'd go through challenging circumstances or, or, you know, difficulties in life. I would usually be on the floor of somewhere, a bathroom, a church, of my room, like maybe in my car. I don't know. But I would typically be on the floor somewhere and I would just be like crying. And I'm like, I can't do this. Like, I'm really struggling. Like, I don't know what to do. And I would literally hold out my right hand. It was my right hand. I didn't hold out my left hand. I held out my right hand. And just as an act of faith, just as an act of yeah, I guess the word is faith. I just held out my hand and I grabbed, like I just reached out and I said, Jesus, I'm going to need you to lead me through this. Um, please help me. Like, I really need you to hold my hand through this. And I would just say that. And sometimes I wouldn't even have the words to say. I would just hold my hand out. And I know that Jesus knew what my heart meant. Because I was like, just walk me through it, God, because I don't know. And the amount of times I've done that, I'm just like, I'm a, like, we're going to walk through, we're going to get through this because Jesus is going to walk me through this. It might not get to skip this trial, <laughs> but he's going to lead me through it nonetheless. And he knows the way out. Right. And so it's so beautiful that that was something I did way before I even like this verse was popped out to me. The Holy Spirit showed it to me. Um, and it's just, it's so beautiful because I love it. And it says, I will strengthen you and help you. And sometimes we go through periods of life where we just simply need to be like, Jesus, I need help and I'm actually weak. And it doesn't, it's not just over because like, I would be thinking this whole time, like, God, am I doing something wrong? Like, am I just this awful person that like, I'm just like, are you just, I don't know, disciplining me or something? And like, not in a, like disciplining, the father does do that. But I thought it was in like a rebukeful way because I had a few words being spoken to me the past year that would almost indicate that so I was like oh my goodness like am I awful and the Holy Spirit's like no it's like I'm growing you and there is an aspect of disciplining where you know, it was like I want to show you the weak spots of your flesh so that you're aware of it because if you're aware of your weak spots then that means that you're going to invite me into those areas and then the enemy won't take you by surprise and you won't be you know taken off guard by your own weaknesses because sometimes we're like yeah I'm strong at this I'm strong at this oh I have that weakness but let's just tuck it and you forget about it or you don't want it in the forefront of your mind that yeah no I'm weaker in these few areas but if you know your weaknesses and you're like I'm not great at these things 
then you A, know how others can help you and you know, oh, if they're stronger in this area, sweet, can you help me? Because like, I don't even know what I'm doing in that area. Or I'm a little weaker in that area. And then it allows you to be able to know your strengths, but also not be undermined by the enemy because Satan's going to try to poke those weak, those weak flesh points that he knows every human has. Some people are weaker in certain aspects of the flesh, but you know, if you know your weaknesses, then you can let Jesus in those areas. And then that those can actually become your strengths. Um, for example, one of my weaknesses used to be patience. Like I was not good at that. I was like, I want it and I want it now. Like, why are we waiting? Like, we don't need to wait. Like, what are we doing? And now that's actually one of my strengths because of what the Lord has done in my life, because I invited him into an area of my life. And I was like, I don't even know, just help me. And he developed and is still developing patient endurance in my life. That's like the main aspect of following Jesus is patience, patient endurance. And it is, oh, it's not easy. I remember in 2020, someone like prophesied over me like, yeah, God's just going to give you like endurance. I just see him giving you endurance. And I was like, oh, yes, like, praise God. This, like, I was so excited. I was like, yeah, like, that's amazing. Like, amen. Yeah, well, let's just say that that sounds nice, but it, <laughs> so many of those moments where I was like, Jesus, hold my hand, because, like, I don't know what I'm doing, because, ah, like, help me. Like, so many times, because endurance, patient endurance means, like, you're, you're like running for a while there. You're like, okay, can we stop? God's like, keep going. You're like, all right, you know, <laughs> just gonna keep going. And it's a it's a wild journey. But I say that to say, invite Jesus into your weaknesses. If you're feeling weak right now in an area and your weakness is like, um, I don't know, like just looking at you in the eye and you're like, oh, I'm weak in this area. Don't be like, oh God, like I don't want that up there because I don't want people to see if Jesus sees it and you invite him, he already sees it anyways, but if you let him and you invite him into that area of your life, you, that's, that's, such, that's the best. You don't want to hide. You don't need to hide from God because you can't. <laughs> no one can hide from God. You've done stuff. You're like, God won't know. Like, well, he does. And so if you just say, listen, God, I'm struggling because like I've got these weaknesses and I don't know how to, I don't know what to do. Like, I have no idea what to do then the Holy Spirit will be able to help you and strengthen you. Um, even like what Isaiah was saying when um, he's talking about Jacob and Israel and everything, like Jesus will strengthen you. He will help you, but you sometimes need to know that you need help so that you don't think you can do it on your own, which like me as an independent, like I'm an only child, independent, definitely needed that lesson for sure because like I can do, I'm just like, I'll figure out a solution. You want me to figure out a solution? I've got it. And so the Lord's had to show me, girl, yes, that is a cool quality that you have, but you don't have everything. Like you need me. <laughs> like you really do. And you need what I have for you as well. So I just wanted to encourage you um, to maybe help you feel not alone or just give you some perspective that you're not always going to feel like on top of the world when you follow Jesus. And this is, I'm going to kind of end on this note. Didn't know I was going to bring this, incorporate this into this video. But um, if you don't feel Jesus, right? Like you're in this like low place, you're in this weak place and you don't feel him. He's still there with you. Okay. Jesus's people, like he's with you. And this is something the Holy Spirit showed me today. And he was just like, he's like, I love how you follow me. This is what he personally spoke to me. He's like, I love how you follow me in faith because you know who I am, because you know what the Bible says about me, because you know my track record in your life, because you know me. And he's like, that, you don't even feel me most times. Like I, I, I know that the Lord's present, but because of all the trying, testing situations and the weakness that's been going on around me, like I don't always feel feel all like when people are just like weeping with the lord i'm like <laughs> i'm not like the most emotional person ever i'm more logical and analytical but i am very sensitive as well and i will cry when the holy spirit really hits me i will ball if i ball publicly in front of people then you know that i'm feeling like the father's heart in a very deep way because i don't like to really I find like emotions, if someone's like talking, like there's just emotions all the time. I'm like, just spit it out. Like, let's say, you know, because <laughs> I'm more direct and just anyways, that's my personality. But when I see people and they're like just experiencing this like raw emotion 
of like God and they're always feeling that I'm like well that must be nice <laughs> I'm like that must be beautiful you know because I'm I, I literally the Holy Spirit was telling me today he's like girl like you have been he's like you've been in such a dry desolate you know place that he's like I wanted you to be in so that you would just know me and learn to lean on me even when it doesn't feel good lean on me even when you don't understand lean on me even when it's sparse to know that like I've got everything that you need. And that's why I believe a lot of people, we all go through this in life, like especially when you're young, you need to learn that so that you don't lean on anything else in your life and think you need to like go and achieve a bunch of, you know, stuff to to have worth, right? Or to go to other things for your sustenance. And um, at any age, you know, it just depends. But I know I've seen it a lot. And like young people, right? There's like these things that the Lord tries to show people. And sometimes they just like stop the lesson right there and go do their own thing. Cause like that doesn't feel good. And trust me, <laughs> I get it because oh, it does not feel good all the time. Like, let me tell you, like maybe if you're new to following Jesus and the Holy Spirit is easing you in, in the way of, you know, if you're a more emotional person and he's like, no, I'm going to let you feel me. That's great. I'm going to really shower you with just my presence in a very tangible, um, emotional way. But when he w- pulls that back and then starts to mature you and you're like, I don't feel him anymore. And then you start to go, are you even here, God? Like, do you love me? Did I do something wrong? The Holy Spirit's like, I'm just trying to show you that you won't always feel me, but I'm there. Because even last night, I was having a moment where I just, I was feeling really weak and I had just like a wave of anxiety hit me, to be honest. Like, I just, I was feeling weak and I was like, oh man. And I just was like saying the truth in my mind and just, you know, being like, no, I'm not gonna, I don't want to, you know, let that overcome me because I don't need to, right? Because Jesus, anyway, so I was coming out of that, right? And so um, my heart was heavy and I was like, Lord, I feel like I need an encounter with you to experience experience your love in a tangible feeling I was like I feel like I need that soon because I was like I I just I I know what I need from you right and so I was like Lord why can't I even like I hear you and I know you're here but I can't feel you right now he's like you are coming down from being anxious and he's like that makes you very tired and you're just kind of you know tired I was getting ready for bed and he's like so don't be discouraged he's like I'm here with you and I love you Um, and you're just tired and you are emotionally, you know, spent because you were just kind of stressed for a moment and trying to like battle that and, um, surrender to me in that area of your life. And I was like, no, true. Like, thank you, Lord. And it was such a beautiful just moment with the Lord, right? Where, you know, sometimes you're just not going to feel him, but he's present. He's there. So don't go searching for a feeling or an emotion, but just say, Jesus, I want to know you. I want to know that you're here. I want to know your heart. And if you want to um, show up with an emotional experience, the Lord does do that. Our emotions are stunning and are beautiful. So I don't want you to think that if you're a more emotional person that like, that's not cool. Cause that's so cool. Like I love talking with like emotional people because it's so not me. Like, like how I lead, I really just like to think and analyze and I go to understand before I feel if I'm working in my flesh. But it's so interesting because when the Holy Spirit moves in my life, a feeling starts and then I get clarity. So it's very interesting how it's actually backwards. Um, when the Holy Spirit speaks to me, I'm like, man, I feel like a heaviness or, oh, I'm feeling uneasy. I need to pray or, oh, I'm feeling like someone's just really low right now. I should reach out to them. Like a feeling starts because the Lord knows if a thought comes in my mind, I've got thoughts for days. Like I'm contemplating, like I'm thinking deep thoughts up in this noggin, you know, but if a feeling comes, I'm like, whoa, hello. Who are, who are you? You know, like what is going on? So pay attention that if you are somebody who you are led by your emotions, then you might notice how the Holy Spirit's going to start coming with a, a thought or a scripture verse. He's going to lead you to the Bible. He's going to lead you to um, his heart through words because he knows that um, the emotions you could get distracted or your your own emotions could derail what he's trying to say right so it's so beautiful I love emotions I love logic I love everything about human beings it's so cool and I love the differences of both sides but just know that you're not just looking for emotion you're not just looking for understanding sometimes you're just kind of riding in the middle where you kind of know a little bit and you kind of feel a little bit but you're just you're riding with the Lord and stepping out in faith and you're you're walking um 
in the truth of what you know Jesus is saying what the Bible says and it's really really beautiful but it can be challenging and you can feel weaker at times and so I don't want you to think that I don't know I feel like the trendy thing right now is a lot of new followers of Jesus the past year or two or three even or a few months like they're like oh Jesus set me free I'm feeling strong I'm feeling better than ever and that's true because that's what Jesus does that's what he does he's so beautiful and he sets people free and he heals people and you know he literally salvation the cross is stunning the blood of Jesus is beautiful you know just oh, I just love the gospel. You know, you can go read exactly how to be saved in Romans 10, verse 9 to 10 and and get to know who Jesus is, you know, through the gospels, um, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John in the Bible. Just give those a read. Even if you're like, I don't want anything to do with Jesus or Christianity, just give like one of the gospels a read. I don't know. Just try it for kicks. Like, why not? You could just be like, Lord, if you're real, like show up, you know, like, If you really want the truth and you really want to know and you open up the Bible and you're like, Jesus, please show up. If you're real, get ready because it's a ride of your life. It's about to begin if you genuinely want to know. Um, But we're seeing that online and we're seeing that in the world. But but then comes in the maturing, okay? The maturing. You got the, oh, praise God, I'm saved because you know what you were. And you're like, the freedom of Jesus is nothing like what, what I was going through in my and myself, praise God. So you're feeling that and it's like, praise God. And then all of a sudden, as you, the Lord's like, okay, let's start the maturing process. Let's start to mature you. Then it can get a little bit where you're not feeling so great all the time where it's like, oh God, that didn't feel good. Or, oh man, the Lord's like, yeah, I want you to choose this or me. And you're like, but I like this. And he's like, but you know, and so it, it starts to get a little bit more challenging where the Lord starts to say, starts to go, okay, where's, where's your allegiance? Like, where are you actually going to align with? Like, who are you going to align with? Me, the world, me, or what you want? And he starts to mature you and sanctify you and really renew your mind and renew your heart as the Holy Spirit's working in and through you. So I just, I, this video we talked about things that I knew we were going to talk about weakness, but I like how the Holy Spirit incorporated my day so that I could share this with you and be a little bit vulnerable, um, which is what the Lord has been showing me and talking to me um, about in my own personal life. And maybe you can relate with it or maybe you can't relate with it. And it's just a cool <laughs> thing to listen to another follower of Jesus, or maybe you don't even follow Jesus and you're like, oh, interesting. You know, it just gives you some food for thought. Um, but Jesus is truly through all of this, he is so strong and he's so, you can lean on him and trust him like genuinely. And I know if you've got trust issues with people and you got trust issues with the church, you got trust issues amongst trust, trust issues, you even got trust issues with yourself. Like, I don't know how, you know, um, untrusting you are, but I just want you to know that genuinely Jesus is trustworthy. He is proven trustworthy time and time again. And if you get in the Bible, you're going to see that if you let the Lord really do something in your life and let the Holy Spirit lead your life, you're going to have a track record of his faithfulness. Like I've got a track record of his faithfulness that if someone's like, share a story of God's faithfulness, I'm like, which one? (laughs) Because I'm like, there's been so many times where he's been faithful. And I want you to have that as well, that as you faithfully walk with the Lord, as it's not about the hype, it's not about what people see, it's about what's hidden. Those those decisions that are between you and the Lord and, and in the... I don't know, in your car, in your room, like where no one sees, it's those decisions, those heart posture decisions that are so beautiful and those moments with the Lord that really are stunning. And I pray that you get to have those experiences and that you don't, and not just experiences, but those realities of Jesus and who he is and his heart and that you get to know him and feel and sense him because both are important. I don't want you to think that like feeling God is like bad. No, like the Holy Spirit is so good to to let you know him and to feel him as well um but yeah this is that's just that was on my heart today weakness like we love talking about weakness so great um but don't be so quick to be like god make me strong again i want to go back to normal like sit in the weakness just just go through the process of sitting in the weakness and being like hey lord what do you want me to do today or what what do you what are you trying to teach me here like don't just try to 
you know, pop, you know, all these pills or go to doctors just to try to get something done quick. Like you can, obviously I even went to the doctor because I was feeling very strange last year. So I, I did go to the doctor. So it's not wrong to go to the doctor. And they're like, girl, you're so healthy. I'm like, okay, great. You know, and um, it's not wrong to go to the doctor, but I just mean, if you're going there just for a quick solution, because you don't want to feel bad, you might get some worse issues. You really might. If you start taking a pill that you didn't actually need to take and like the doctor doesn't diagnose you correctly, you know, so anyways, trust the Lord. Don't lean on your own understanding or on your own emotions. Just really let the Lord lead you and guide you. Let the Holy Spirit lead and guide you. Um, and he will lead you into all truth if you let him, um, which is so beautiful. That phrase has been coming to mind uh, in scripture, you know, where the Holy Spirit will lead us into all truth. And that's like my prayer every day. I'm like, Jesus, lead me into all truth. And like, if there's something I don't want, if there's something that's not true, something that's not you, I don't want to believe it, you know, and I pray that that's your prayer. I pray that you just let the Lord teach you. Let the Holy Spirit be the great teacher in your life. Be a student of life with the Holy Spirit as your teacher in scripture, as your, your guidebook, as your, you know, basis for for living this life we call following Jesus. So that's the tea. Um, well, it's not really tea, but <laughs> that's all I have for you. Um, thank you so much for listening. I pray this encouraged you and you just let Jesus be strong in your weakness because that's when his power is made perfect. That's what the Bible says. We always quote, quote that scripture, but then when we feel weak, we're like, just make me strong. Jesus is like, did you read the scripture? <laughs> did you understand the scripture? Because it's actually in your weakness that the things get started you know so i'm excited for you because if you're feeling weak even like myself the past little bit this is where things get started because we're like I, god it's you because like i surely can't so you must if you want something to go down because i can't so he's like jesus is like i got it he has those finger guns and everything he's like i've got it under control anyways <laughs> bless you guys in all the ways thank you so much for listening and um, I'll be back whenever I'm back.